I realized he had no money of his own. It was, it was my money, our money he spent that night at the Rainbow Room. How am I going to face Elizabeth? What have I done? What did I let him do to me? You know, I, I came here for experience. I wanted experience, but not to do this or lose that or be this or do this to Elizabeth. I didn't come here to be this. father said I was a fool and I, I can't have him be right. What have I done? Kitty and I were at a roller disco that two clients had opened. And it was Valentine's Day. And we came out and we saw a body on the street. My legs were shaking from the skating, which I haven't done in I hate to tell you how many years. You can tell the body had just landed there in that clump. Because the blood seeping out had not reached the gutter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the blood just slowly oozing towards the curb. The boy had jumped from above. The next day we were walking through the park by Gracie Mansion. And it was cold. And we saw police putting a jacket on a man sitting on a bench. Only we got closer and it wasn't a sweater. It was a body bag. A homeless person had frozen during the night. Was it that cold? Sometimes there are periods where you just see death everywhere. This young girl came forward with the story. She told me the black cape was your son, lived here. It all seemed to come into place. What I'm saying is, uh, she'll press charges. I want him dead. He took all our money. He took my life. Rick's dead. You bet your life I'll press charges. We haven't seen him since that night. Find him. We have a case. I'll release it to the papers. I have friends. I can call the Times. Which is what happened? The paper of note, the Times, ran a story on so-called smart, sophisticated, tough New Yorkers being boondoggled by a confidence man now wanted by the police. Who says New Yorkers don't have a heart? <laughs> they promised it would either run in the living section or the home section. The story ran. In the B section, front page. Smart New Yorkers. We never heard from Sidney Poitier. Six degrees. Six degrees. We are bidding tonight on an all theme on peace. We will go as high Don't as. Give away all the family secrets. Well over 25 million. Out of which he will keep. Oh, I'll have to give most of it away. But the good thing is, it gives me a credibility in this new market. I mean, a David fucking Hockney print that went for a hundred bucks 15 years ago sold for 34000 A print! A flower! Uh, you know Jeffrey, our South African friend? It's a black tie auction, soft beast. I know we'll get it. Wow. Oh, yeah, I know the Matisse will be mine. At least for a few hours. Then off to Tokyo or Saudi. I'm totally dolled up. The black, have you seen it? But I have to tell you the sign I saw today. Cruelty-free cosmetics. A story selling cruelty-free cosmetics. Mother, that is such a beautiful thing. Do you realize the agony cosmetic companies put rabbits through just to test eyeshadow? Dearest, I know that. I'm only talking about the phrase. The cruelty-free cosmetics should take away all evidence of time and cell you need and Mother, I'm getting married. I thought you were going to Afghanistan. I'm going to get married and then go to Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> One country at a time. You are not getting married. Immediately. So deeply negative. I know every 
everyone you know, and you're not marrying any of them. Marrying? <laughs> but you would assume you know everyone I know the way you say it. I know everyone you know. Unless you met them in the last two days, you can't hold a secret. I'm going to put you on hold. No one ever calls on that number. Wait. Hold on. Mother! Hello. Hello. Paul. I saw the story in the paper. I didn't know the boy killed himself. He gave me the money. I'm going to put you on hold and talk you to my child. You put me on hold, I'll be gone, and you'll never hear from me again. You have to turn yourself in. The boy committed suicide. The, you stole money. The girl is going to press charges. They're going to get you. Why don't you turn yourself in, and you can get off easier. You can strike a bargain. Learn when you're trapped. You're so brilliant. You have such promise. You need help. Would you help me? What would you want me to do? Stay with you. That's impossible. Why? My husband feels you betrayed him. Do you? You were lunatic. And picking that dreck off the streets? Are you suicidal? Do you have AIDS? Are you infected? I do not have it. It's a miracle, but I don't. Do you feel I betrayed you? If you do, I'll hang up and never bother you again. Where have you been? Traveling. You're not in trouble. I mean, more trouble? No. I only visited you. I didn't like the first people so much. They went out and just left me alone. I, I didn't like the doctor. He was too eager to please, and he left me alone. But you, you and your husband, we all stayed together. What did you want from us? Everlasting friendship. Nobody has that. You do. <laughs> What do you think we are? You're going to tell me secrets? You're not what you appear to be? You have no secrets. Trent Conway told me what your kids have told him over the years. What have the kids told him about us? I don't tell that. I saved that for blackmail. Then perhaps I'd better hang up. No! I went to a museum. I liked to loose the trek. As well you should. <laughs> I read the Andy Warhol diaries. Coming in as feet. Are you laughing at me? No. I read them too. I read The Agony and the Ecstasy by Irving Stone about Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. You're ahead of me there. Have you seen the Sistine Chapel? <laughs> yes. Even gone to the top of it in a rickety elevator to watch the men clean it. You've been to the top of the Sistine Chapel? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Stood under the hand of God, touching the hand of man. So the workmen said, Hit it! Hit it! It's only a fresco! <laughs> and I did. I slapped God's hand. You did? <laughs> and you know what they clean it with? All this technology? <laughs> Q-tips and water. No! <laughs> clean away the years of lime and soot and paint overs. Q-tips and water. Changing the face of Western art. <laughs> Vivid colors. Take me to see it. Take you to see it, Paul. If they think you might have murdered someone, you stole money. Honey, could you help me with? I'll call that detective. Dad, we were disconnected. I'm getting married. Honey, can you call back? I'm getting married and going to Afghanistan. <laughs> we can't talk about this now. I'm going to ruin my life and get married and throw away everything you want me to be because it's the only way to hurt you. <laughs> I've got that kid on the line. Find out where he is. Find out where he is. Who's there? Look, why don't you come here tonight? Where are you? I come there, you'll have the cops waiting. You'll have to trust us. Why? Because we like you. Where is he? Who's there? It's... I'm not here. It's Flab. Are you in tonight? I can come and make a feast for you. We're going out right now, but um, you could be here when we come back. Are you nuts? Tell a crook we're going out. The house is empty. Where are you going? <laughs> The key's under the mat. Hi. Did hi. I come to Sotheby's? Hi. I said hi to Flan. Paul says hi. Hi. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'll come. Oh, uh, you can't. Why? I was helpful the last time. Tell him he Jeffrey was very helpful here. And the commission. Here. Paul, Paul, you were very helpful getting me this contract. Really? I was thinking maybe that's what I should do, is what you do in art, but making money out of art and meeting people and not working out of an office. You only see the glam side of it. There's a whole grotty side. I could learn the grotty. You have to have art history. You have to have language. You have to have economics. I'm fast. I could do it. 
Do your kids want to? No, it's not exactly a profession you hand down from generation to generation. What the hell am I talking career <laughs> counseling to you? You embarrassed me in my building. You stole money. There's a warrant out for your arrest. Don't hang up. Paul, are you there? Paul! You need to hang up. I'm here. You are? Uh, who are you? What's your real name? If you let me stay with you, I'll tell you. That night was the happiest night I ever had. It was the happiest night he ever had. Oh, please. <laughs> I am not a bullshitter, but never bullshit a bullshitter. Why? <laughs> you let me use all of the parts of myself that night. It was magic. Oh, that Salinger stuff? Graduation speech at Groton two years ago. And your cooking. Other people's recipes. Did you see Donald Bartholomew's obituary? He said collage was the art form of the 20th century. Well... Everything is somebody else's. Not your children, not your life. You are right there. That is mine. It is no one else's. You don't sound happy. There's so much you don't know. You're so smart. You're so stupid. Never say I'm stupid. Have some flexibility. You are stupid not to realize what you could be. What could I be? So much. With you behind me. Perhaps. You like that night? I thought since that you spent your time laughing at us. No! Why don't you brought that awful hustling thing back to show us your contempt? I was so happy, I wanted to add sex to it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you do that? No. <laughs> I'll tell you my name. Please? It's Paul Poitier Kittridge. It's a hyphenated name. Paul, you need help. Go to the police. You'll be over it all the sooner. And then you can start... Start what? Your life. Will you help me? Yes. But you have to go to the police and go to jail. Will you send me books and Polaroids of you and cassettes and letters? Yes. Will you visit me? Yes, I will visit you. And when you do, you wear your best clothes and, and knock them dead. I'll knock them dead, but you have to be careful in prison. You've got to use condoms. <laughs> I won't have sex in prison. I only have sex when I'm happy. Go to the police. Will you take me? I will give you the name of the I'll be treated to see. with care if you take me to the police. If they don't know you're special, they kill you. I don't think they'll kill you. Mrs. Louisa Kittredge, I am black. <laughs> 